Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be mostly Ivan talking. Um, today's video is about uh, how he proposed, the proposal story, his ideas that he had before the idea that he chose to go with. Take it away. The first thing is I wanted to get away from any kind of like a cliche type of like, like obvious type of scenario. Yeah, predictable. Mm -hmm. So obviously all the proposals on the beach was out of like a in the, in the trash instantly. Basic. I wanted it to be like a little more special. The first idea that I had uh, was uh, to uh, to do a canyon shoot, you know, like a, like to to make a, like let's say a drone video of me proposing, you know, in the canyon. Which I found that it could have been cool because we have here in Texas we still have like a sections of the Grand Canyon over here. True, that would have been cool. Which uh, like if if. If I were like, I already seen like a few spots that could have looked really awesome. Mm -hmm. That was Question. who would have been controlling the drone? If <laughs> you're proposing, I don't know. I, I, I was just like, I wasn't thinking about details at the moment. Right. It was more of a just conceptual. Yeah, if that makes sense. That was idea number one. And then as the time was going by, and I was still thinking like, is it the right thing? How would I execute it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I was like, okay, well maybe it's not the best idea. And then I came up with the second idea. And then the funny story is that I came up with it. I remember like you tend to get bored easily, you yeah. know, like when, when it comes to like a lack of activities, you know, like yeah. fun things that we do. So I periodically, you know, like sometimes I look on Google Maps and sometimes I come, come across like cool activities that, that we can do. So uh -huh. one of the activities that I found was a, a what's it called a parasail here in Texas. I started to like up, look up different like businesses and services that provide that sort of thing, and I um, came across this really cool looking sailboat, right? And uh, I saw that uh, like because of the pandemic and stuff like that, they had like some interesting options as far as like they, they obviously had a limited capacity. Yeah. But then I was like, okay, well, what if I just buy out the whole entire capacity and just go there? with you and like pretend that we're just going on an, on an activity it, w it would kind of like make sense that there is no one on the boat because of yeah. the pandemic yeah the time was kind of like going going by and we obviously had we already planned the the california trip laguna beach and i was and i remember like how much you love california and california's like nature and like Gorgeous. Just, just just the vibe over there Homey. and uh the ring was done so it was a custom made ring. Well, basically the ring was custom made. I've had it on my Pinterest board. Like this particular yeah. ring, I've had it on my Pinterest board for years. I had like a whole entire, if I ever got married, cute decor details, mm -hmm. cute ring stuff. And so I've shown it to him many times years before. So yeah. There you go. So basically I had to custom made and they were making some crazy like engineer style schematics of the ring. And like, I think it was called CAD. Literally a replica of like the one ring that I had on my Pinterest board mm -hmm. for like years and I've con consistently been loving the way it looks so yeah the ring is perfect. So the ring was already done. I knew that the shape is coming up. Okay well how about I just take the ring with me. I had the ring in my pocket over here. I had that little box on me and I put it in my pocket over here closer to my heart. <laughs> we went on the, um, on the trip and I was I was just thinking like if there if there's gonna be an interesting spot yeah. that's gonna be like worthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I at least I have the option just to Yeah, because you're just scouting it out to exactly. see what I feels right. I didn't know exactly how things are gonna look and is it gonna look right or not and stuff like that. One of the days she was like, Oh, we're going to that Victoria Tower. And she showed me pictures previously, you know, before we even went on the trip. As we were going there, I was like like that place literally reminds me of a tower like where a princess would be like in a Disney movie and Which like knowing your obsession with Disney stuff and the whole their princess thing I was like that kind of actually I think that it will it, res it will resonate the most with you and your particular preferences Taste. It's, yeah, yeah I was the one coming up with the agenda it definitely surprised me when the proposal happened because it's like I was the one that was planning this and I was the one that was so part of me is just like what if we never went to the Victoria Tower what if that never happened but then it's like what he said like if, if we never went there and it didn't feel right he wouldn't have done it right. so yeah for that that was perfect and with the whole princess theme I think I was showing him pictures mm -hmm. of the Victoria Tower for like months before Laguna Beach saying mm -hmm. like can you imagine this is in Laguna Beach can you imagine this is in Laguna Beach and I really was hyping it up once I saw that um that it was kind of like it was resembling the princess 
type of like a scenario and I also remember from the past you were mentioning that you wanted to have a, a wedding in a cost in, in the castle yeah yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. that was another I, I felt like a, a moment where a person would resonate with you, you would resonate with, yeah, with that sure. with that particular idea so obviously it was nerve-wracking for me too <laughs> at the moment you know he still thinks that sometimes he's just like are you sure you wouldn't have like that other proposal and I keep saying like the proposal with the boat thing and I keep saying like I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much 100% because I am definitely into like photos aesthetics and even though it would have been cool on a boat like that as the photo that we got which will obviously be inserted of him doing the self timer at the castle was perfect and a lot of people ask me like how did you know that other people weren't going to be there and, and we just it just worked out like he didn't know we didn't plan that no one was going to be there like it just so happened that at that specific time other tourists visit the spot and it just so happened that at that time nobody was there completely empty so it looked like we were literally just on a castle island by ourselves and what happened in the moment is he's kind of set up a self timer mm -hmm. for us to take a photo and we do this all the time and that's actually go. and that's actually a funny another funny part yeah. of the story so uh we like because you do the instagram obviously you take pictures like solo all the time yeah and, and i'm i'm the one behind the camera taking the picture yeah so in order for the situation not to be feel like awkward or weird yeah i was like okay well Obviously, we're going to be taking time pictures of you over there because you're wearing outfits and da da da, like all right. that stuff. So, I, I specifically before, like I already knew that the tower is going to be, and there's a chance that I'm going to be doing in there. Yeah. So I was like, in the in the morning, I was like, babe, we don't really take a lot of pictures together. Which is we true. We should we true. should take more pictures together. And Tara was like, okay, yeah. So I already kind of like laid down the ground. So for the moment when I'm going to be setting up the camera and kind of like doing that whole that awkward yeah. setting up aspect, yeah. it wouldn't seem too, too weird. Yeah, that's true. Also because it's only been a few months ago where I told Ivan like we need more couple photos together because we don't have we don't know anybody here in Texas to take our photos. So these past two years, we've been kind of just taking it separately. And we tried to do the self timer a few months ago and we were still working on it. So it wasn't weird at all that you're like, let's keep practicing because we were literally practicing the whole self timer couple photo thing like months before. Oh my god, I remember when I was like pulling out that like was trying to grab the ring because obviously like the pocket it was like locked, right? Yeah. So when I was opening up the pocket to grab the ring, you like the way you were like saying, what are you doing? It felt like I'm all, I was about to pull out the gun. <laughs> What are you doing? I was like, yeah. oh my god, I'm not doing anything that scary. <laughs> also because it was self-timer, so I was like, let's go. And yeah. then he started fumbling and I was like, what are you doing? Like, that was literally my reaction. Yeah. And plus, I didn't think, I guess, I just assume the rings always come with those big boxes because they usually do. It's mm -hmm. just he the travel size. So I was like, there's no way he's pulling out that big normal ring. Mm -hmm. that, and so I just didn't think it was happening. And then it was such a tiny box and I was like, <laughs> and then I was like super shocked and mm -hmm. freaked out after because it's such a big step in a relationship and we've been together total for six years so it was just so different mm -hmm. but I feel like as time went on I'm more and more excited about being engaged and mm -hmm. being you know getting married and like having a wedding and things like that mm -hmm. and so for me every single time he's like but what about that other proposal wouldn't you I, I'm like no the castle theme resonates with me so much that's gorgeous just on a, on a personal level yeah. for sure for like for me of course both ideas i was very surprised with when he told me about the other idea about the sailboat so i'm like he's not really a planner and the fact that he was thinking this through so much really obviously made me feel special so i love that the fact that the other idea was an option but i'm telling you just the execution mm -hmm. of what personally resonates with me like he just said i love california laguna beach is a number one town i would like to live in the fact that all of those memories were entwined with the proposal it was just mm -hmm. like it couldn't feel more personable right so Success? Yes, success. And also, this is just the first of our many wedding series videos. So I'm going to have a wedding dress shopping, looking at the venue. And no, I don't have any brothers, sorry. Oh. <laughs> This is going to be our wedding series. This is the first of many videos, so keep tagging along for our journey. Should this be the thumbnail? 